Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 5 of the Binder Acres in the Vintage Open Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play the Meat. So let's go! Before I take my shot, make sure that you check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy for tech guide packages for tournaments and also training session packages to improve your game even more. So this hole, this is a tough one. So the last time we played this one, uh, the game makers had removed the, the trees that we see here straight forward. Now they are back, which makes this drive a little bit tougher than, uh, than it was before. So the thing that we're going to do here, first and foremost, we are going to play with a power three ball. I know we're playing from the front G and we would be able to make the drive without the power three ball. But the second shot, we do need distance. And I don't want to make a guide where you have to max overpower your second shot to be able to get it to green. So, smart, we need to be smart. Power three ball. You can see that we can actually bounce this ball a little bit through the tree here without having any problem. So I'm going to just be on the left side using max side spin left, which is four and a half bar. And max top spin with X my level five, which is four and a half bar. Then we're going to adjust for maximum distance of our club with a 10% downhill adjustment. So we're going to have to add the 10% to our adjustment to be spot on. We bounce here and we roll very, very nicely. And the key here is to get as close to the top left of this fairway as possible because that is going to make the shot easier to get to the green. So you can see here, look here now with a basic ball and even with a hammer level three, which which not is a which is not a club that that is a short club, I would say. It's going to be tough, and our opponents having to use max overpower, but also max topspin here to be able to have a chance to get this ball on the green. And the trick here with this type of shot is that you need to bounce it into the rough to roll out on the fairway, which our opponent is going to be very close to make. And now the tailwind is going to help a little bit, but this is this is the pure and only reason why I'm wa I want you to play with a power ball. And once again, if you don't have that, play with the, mo the thing that is most similar. But I understand that we do not want to suggest that that much. But here is a must to be able to get this ball to the green without having that much of a problem. I'm going to use two bars of uh, backspin. And then I'm going to stretch out my... Like my adjustment you can see here now I'm stretching it out into overpower to take a look for where my second bounce is going to be from there I'm going to adjust my rings and I'm going to adjust the second shot for being 10% extra as well So downhill 10% for the second shot as well We hit it perfect and we're gonna get it to green. This is a hole where I'm going to be very happy to just make an eagle and take it from there and then go to the next one tough part five can we get the eagle we're definitely going to uh, bring um like there is definitely going to be a lot of players that's going to get a birdie so thank you so much for watching hole number five part five of the vineyard acres in the vintage open tournament if you do like the video and the content please hit the thumbs up button on the video the video is sponsored by golf clash and play demic good luck in the vintage open tournament